Next time they have to readjust. No, it didn't. All right, we're good. And we'll start. All right. Hi, I'm Noelle. I'm Leslie. And we are Behind, Behind the, the Games. Leslie hit me. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's just start off. How was your, um, how was your week? Okay, we did do a live video, so there's a couple, you know, some few people that were able to see this pretty quickly, but Leslie wanted to do more in depth, and we can only do 15 well, minutes at a time. People were asking if you were alive, so I know. <laughs> but I do a live to make sure I didn't, wasn't fibbing. Yeah, so if you, if you don't know me, this is not my normal look. No, no. <laughs> but um, I did have a major accident at the gym, which I've never um, had. St. Patrick's Day, so now you will always remember that day. I know, right? Oh, and today is my son's birthday. Happy birthday, Nick. But, um, <laughs> happy birthday. How old? Uh, he's 20. And you asking me age with a concussion. I'm sorry. He's 20 something. <laughs> that was pretty bad. That, that, that was throwing you in his butt. <laughs> No, he knows I don't know numbers. I don't know numbers on a normal day, much less with a concussion. Anyways, this was a major accident at the gym, but it was a freak accident. It wasn't something that, it was just something that shouldn't have happened, and it, and it, there was no reason for it to happen, but it's one of those things that did. Well, very grateful and lucky that you are alive, and it wasn't more serious than mm -hmm. what it was. I mean, it's pretty serious. It's very serious. How, how many stitches? 15. And see. how many broken toes? Two. Um, my stitches go up like that through the eyebrow. It starts up there, and it folded the skin down. And also, you get a huge on hole in your leg that you didn't know until you got home, right? Mm -hmm. And I got a knee thing, which I didn't know either. Um, so the hole probably needed to be stitched, but you didn't know. Didn't know it because there wasn't even a hole in my um, pants. I have no idea how that gash got there, but it because when I took my pants off, I was kind of examining. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I had blood everywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, it was basically the the whole thing. What time is that? The whole thing. Two minutes. Okay. The whole thing was um, I was doing on the Smith machine, which I told you before, I don't usually use the Smith machine, but I wanted to get out of there quick. And I was so proud of myself that I got there early. I just talked to you because somebody had told me that they wanted us to taste test some of their new products. So I got off the phone with you and I'm like, so proud of myself, I got here. And I'm gonna do a whole everything. Yeah, I was surprisingly late for once. I, I, know, I right? slept in, and I was like taking my. It was like taking me forever to get out the door. And normally I'm like there. So yeah, and I was secretly like letting you know about that too because I was hoping you were on your way. <laughs> yeah, I was just. It was the one time I actually slept in and slept in. Sleeping in is like seven. <laughs> it's like so. Anyways, that's about me. But um, no, we. Um, so I go to the Smith machine, and I'm like, I can do everything on here: squats, lunges, deadlifts. Anything I need, I can do on the Smith machine, and I don't have to have a spotter. Yeah. And um, and grant you, I never do this because I go on the deadlifting area that has the rubber floor. Right. So, anyways. I thought that was odd too when I heard that you were on the Smith machine. I was like, what? I don't. Yeah, I don't usually use it. Yeah. But I wanted, like I said, I wanted to get fast and I wanted to go heavy. So I did my squats, I did my lunges, and then the last thing was going to be my deadlifts. So I wanted to use a stool, and not a stool, but a platform they have. They have different size step-up platforms. And this one legitimately, I swear, is only this big. It's not, it's the smallest one they have. But it was just enough to where if I did a deadlift, and I was doing the RDLs where you kind of squat and lift. Did you get any reps in before it happened? No. Okay. Uh, mm -mm. Okay. I, I uh, had no weights on it. I put the platform under. I tested the deadlift to make sure the platform was where it needed to be. And then I put a 25 on both sides because that was that's light for a Smith machine. And this Smith machine had a break on it, so it won't go all the way to the ground. I think all, all of them do. Okay. Right, but this one at, at destination, the break's higher. That's the need okay. for the platform. Okay. okay. So I'm like, okay, slide the 25s on. I get my straps on because I have straps that have hooks, so that my hands can be free, but I'm still hooked. <laughs> but um, I did the deadlift and. And I think what happened was from watching the video that they have the security video that the de the platform slipped out from underneath me, but there was no way the way I set it up because I'm very meticulous. Right. Unless when I got back on it, I moved the platform getting on it with my foot in some way. And it only takes a fraction for it to be moved, for it to slide. Well, it was concrete floor. It was so, a concrete floor. Yeah, so it's 
They're slippery. Yeah. And I've done this before a while back, but again, if you don't have any platform on a concrete floor lined up perfect, a slight move with weight and you're kind of in that position of a deadlift, it's going to slip out or right. it's going to tip over. Right. Um, and so I went into the deadlift and I remember the last thing I remember was it felt like it was so odd because it felt like the weight was going down to the floor. But I'm thinking in my head, there's a break. It's going to break. It's going to break. But it, to, so, I didn't know I was going to the floor, right. not the machine. Right. So the machine had braked, and I completely passed out. And I don't know what happened after that. You know, because you came in. Well, I came in, and this girl comes right up to me, Natalia. And I, I mean, I've seen her at the gym, but I didn't really know her. And she's like, hey, you talked to Noelle? I'm like, yeah. I just yeah. talked to her. And she was like, oh, so you know. And I, it was like the way she said it, I was like, oh, fuck. No, what? <laughs> like, what? And she was like, well, she had a really bad accident. I'm like, what do you mean bad? She's like, well, then she's like, well, she got the Swiss machine. And I was like, thinking in my head, I'm like, no, I would not fucking be on that machine. <laughs> no, she told me what happened, and it was just like, holy fuck. She's like, you might want to check on her. And I was like, so I, I texted you, and I watched I called you, and um, Johanna answered, and was like, hey, we have her. She's okay. You know, she's getting stitched up, and mm -hmm. it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but apparently I'd fallen onto the floor head first because my hands were still attached to the bar. That was me right. thinking, oh, the, this is going down really fast. <laughs> yeah, she said that you passed out. Yeah, and I did. <laughs> they, like, two guys had to pick you up because you were wrapped, like, you were, like, you know, wrapped under. So they had to pick you up to unhook your hands to get you up, and that's when kind of you came to. And I still don't remember a yeah. lot. I remember yeah. bits and pieces. And um, I didn't even know how bad it was till after I had been there. And um, I, it's bad enough that she's not allowed to see the footage. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Yeah. They, yeah. I only got. I only saw the footage of it. The thing slipping out from underneath me. That was. That was all I could see. And what did that feel like to see that? That was scary because it, then it hit me like how serious that was. And I still didn't know until you told me because I can't figure out how I broke my toes and my knee got hurt until you today told me that my hands were still hooked. Right. I had no idea, because I haven't talked to anybody really right. at the gym to tell me. That's That was the big problem, because you were just like folded up in there, and mm -hmm. there's just blood everywhere, and they can't get you up until they physically pick you up to unhook you. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I had no clue about that, but then that makes sense of, oh, now that makes sense. So basically what happened was when the, the, the platform slipped and went out. She went forward. My head blocked. She went this way. No one went forward. And nothing, but, yeah, nothing but the head. So that hints the head injury and the uh, concussion. <laughs> well, and your first comment to Johanna was, <laughs> I have a hard head, I have a hard head, I'm fine. This <laughs> isn't going to happen to anybody who reads to me because I have such a hard head. She was like, I think she was in shock. I'm like, oh, no, no, no. No, that would be, yeah. I had to make fun, yeah. I had to make a laugh, I had to make a joke out yeah. of it. Yeah, because I was scared, but I was still trying to joke because honestly, I didn't know how bad it was. You know, right. so well, this is going to happen if it happened to me. But it was, a, I think, I have a lot of people to think. I want to see about the time. What are we we're at? We're at eight minutes. Uh, okay, so we have enough. Yeah, we're going to make this a series. So yeah. if we have to stop um, mid conversation, fine. <laughs> we'll just come back to the next one. Well, before um, I, I before we start think, thinking, well, should, should I thank people? Yeah, I should. No, we're, we're going to go through the whole story, and then at the end, we'll... Okay. Yeah. We're going to have a time at the end. Oh, at the end of the whole series? Yeah. Yeah, y'all are going to excuse me. I'm it's not... It's okay. She's had the confession. I'm not all here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm slow. But, so, so um, you, what do you remember first? Um, I remember bits and pieces. I remember... I couldn't see... And I, I, I do remember... I um, remember pain, like feeling blood. Well, I have a high tolerance to pain. When I feel pain, it's like hot, right. burning sensation. Um, but this one was, I felt a lot of stinging and a lot of burning sensation. Yeah, oh. and, I, and I was like, okay, well, if I'm feeling that, I know it's pretty bad. What are you just feeling in the face? My whole head. The whole head. Like yeah. everything was okay. on fire. Yeah. Um, but, um, and then I remember like hearing... Like, I remember arguing bits and pieces with Johanna. Uh, she's trying to tell me we need to get you to a hospital. And I'm like, no, 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 put a Band-Aid on it. She's the general manager at Destination. Yeah. And I'm like, no, 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 put a Band-Aid on it. I'll just go home. 
And she's like, no, no, Noelle, you can't go home. You're going to go to the hospital. I'm like, no, no, no. She's like, you have a gash on your head. She didn't want to scare me. And I'm like, well, if it's a gash, just put some butterfly bandages on it and I'll be fine. I'll just go home. And she's like, no, you're not. You're going to. And when she was like talking to me that way, she's never raised her voice to me. I'm like, I just shut up because I knew it was like, okay, well, something's wrong. You know, like it's a bigger gash, but I'm still thinking a gash. Right. And then the next thing I remember is um, Landon, who's the front, who works at the front desk, but he's also a good friend of mine. I've known him for years too up there. I, I remember seeing him looking over and just the look on his face kind of scared me. And then I went back out right. and then um, going into the ER place. It wasn't the hospital. They took me farther you know, to the ER place. And I remember texting my boyfriend on, you know, I'm at Legacy ER. <laughs> I don't know if you text her or somebody else, but yeah. No, I did. I remember. I remember watching myself do it, oh, wow. and I'm like, and I'm thinking, how do I know where I'm at? Right. But I saw the name, so yeah. and then I went back out, and then I remember um, in the bed and the doctor coming. I remember the look on his face, and I'm still thinking, what well, you know, like, well, I probably look pretty hideous, like my hat's off, and I probably right. got some blood, and I got a little gash or whatever. But then he wanted. By then, I started coming to more, and he wanted me to do all these tests. Cause I told him, I'm like, I'm not getting scans. I'm not gonna take pain medicine. <laughs> right. And he's like, well, legally we have to like give you tests. So I had to touch his finger and Maybe I had to walk, walk a line. line. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty fast, right? Right, but I'm still like trying to figure out like, why is he making me like, this is for a gash, you know? Right. So it's dumb. You never asked like to look in the mirror? Or? Nope, no, and they didn't have any mirrors. Uh, I'm, and, and, um, <laughs> And I get back in bed, and, and then Johanna stayed with me. Landon had to stay in the car because he wasn't allowed back until my boyfriend got there. But I remember her just telling me, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. And I'm like, no, you don't understand. This is, I don't want any tests. This is good. I just want to go home. This is going to cost a fortune. So we'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. Just be quiet. Be quiet. And, then, um, and then I started cracking jokes. And then they came in to get stitches. They said I wouldn't have to have scans. Thank God. Because that would have been a fortune. Right. And, um, <laughs> right, we're going to stop it here and we're going to go for part two. <laughs> <laughs> so I am Leslie. This is Noelle. Uh, we so are behind the games. <laughs>